What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mack Truck, Mr. 18 himself. I like to um, do this video strictly to talk about the way YouTube has been running their stuff lately. Now, it seems like every video that I post is getting flagged. Um, they saying I can't monetize it and all of this crap, and then I got to go on back on my laptop to appeal the shit. This is the thing, YouTube. Y'all think y'all slick. What y'all are doing is y'all know how to hold out on certain people who get a certain amount of um, views to where that by the time a video get cold, then you demonetize it to where you know, motherfucker monetize the video. Now, all that is doing is um, making it to where YouTube is not paying much money. Not like they paying much anyway as it is. Now, me, I just hate posting stuff and getting these fucking emails and then talking about that my video is not suitable for um, ads and all of this shit. And then the same video, they wind up just uh, monetizing it. Just, oh, your video was ready. Yeah, but y'all ain't going to go back to give me all those views that I just missed. You see what I'm saying? So YouTube is playing games. YouTube playing games just like the rest of these candy-ass YouTubers out here. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, that's one thing that kills me. Now, allegedly, allegedly, um... They saying that Chanel has a GoFundMe account so she could try to get her a booth in an Arnold Expo. Chanel, Rich Piana, ex chick. I'm like, if that's the case, if you need a fucking GoFundMe account for a booth, you're in the wrong business. You need to just go on ahead and either get your website and sell your shit on your website until you're able to get a booth. But that's allegedly. I don't know how 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 right that is, how true it is, but that's just if it is true. She making herself look real fucking bad, okay? Because the moment Rich checked out, they said, fuck him. Then they said, fucked her. So now she's doing GoFundMe accounts, allegedly. I believe she is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. Now... I'm just giving a little rundown. Now, the whole Markeisha lube, lube liner lubrication, that's over with. I'm not going to poke at her anymore. So, guys, we can stop with the memes. They're not needed anymore. No need to keep on poking on a dead horse because he's been exposed. We see that now all of a sudden he's too big for replies and all that, which is smart. Don't egg somebody like me on. I only know one other person like me that where you don't want to egg on, they're going to keep going, and that's 50 Cent. You do not want to fuck with a person that's petty as me when I'm not doing nothing to anyone because I would keep going until I'm tired, which I'm tired. I took a lot of the posts down. No, I took all of them down, actually. It's just the ones that was on my live, Insta live story or whatever, my Insta story. I left those up, but I took those down. I'm over the whole Markeisha Lowliner situation because it's a dead horse. We beating it for no apparent reason because clearly that motherfucker know that peoples are watching Mac Truck now. So that's the one thing. Now another thing. Um, one of my supporters made a video about me saying like put words in my mouth, made it seem like I said, y'all go follow um, Jason Blaha. I said, no, I can respect the fact that he was man enough to apologize to me publicly, how he trashed me publicly, which I didn't care about none of that. But yet he like, oh, we, uh, we supported you. We were behind you. Just because you don't like him, cuz that ain't got nothing to do with the Mac. Now, I respect all men that stand on their shit. I don't care what somebody did in their past, because I got a hell of a past. So, it's just amazing how people's is all butthurt behind me being cool with the man. Me being cool with the man don't have nothing to do with my character, because I'm going to address everything head on. And then he was all like, yeah, but with uh, Mark Globeliner, I can see 
how, you know, I can respect be cool with him. Yeah, he might be two-faced and talk behind people's back, but he can sell your protein pre-workout. First off, I don't fuck with no nigga two-faced to talk behind my back. I'd rather deal with a motherfucker that's uh uh an uh, alcoholic, a, a fucking thief, than a fucking liar and a two-faced backstabbing motherfucker. I don't give a fuck how much a nigga can sell. I don't care about none of that. I have no respect for nobody like that. You see what I'm saying? I have respect for those that's man enough to stand on their shit. And that's what Jason did. And that's who then he still was making it soft, like, you know, but I still support you. I'm not, I'm gonna just hit likes, I ain't gonna leave no comments. I really, my daughter walking in, I really don't care about none of that because putting the words in my mouth, talk, like I tell my supporters to go support him. I said, no, my supporters ain't going to have a problem with it, which 95% of my supporters don't have a problem with it. The ones that have a problem with it are those that ain't really supporters. Just those that's like fans because y'all got to remember, Mac Truck ain't asked nobody to come follow me. I ain't asked nobody to buy my shit or nothing. So I'm different from a lot of these fucking YouTubers. I'm different from a lot of these people in fitness. So like I said, I have a lot of respect for fucking Jason Blah because he actually took the time to research more about Mack Truck. You know what I'm saying? With, uh, with a non-biased um, eye. And he realized that, damn, this dude ain't too bad. He is. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a cool guy that that was just once in one incident. Like I said, what he said about me, I ain't take that shit to heart. Why? Because I know you don't know me. You see what I'm saying? So those of you that understood the video and respect it, continue trucking with the Mac, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the people's champ. I ain't going to lie about a goddamn thing and I ain't going to run and hide from no motherfucking body. That's why I'm going to continue always giving it to y'all straight. Okay? So... Marquisha, the Mac is pulling out the truck stop, and I'm going to leave you alone, okay? I'm going to leave you alone. Just keep my name out your mouth, or if you speak it, put some fucking respect on it. Because I'm here, ain't going nowhere, and I'm the people's champ. And to everybody out there that's Valentine's Day, knowing y'all been fucking up all year, or know y'all bitch been fucking up all year, and y'all bought the bitch something anyway, y'all crazy. All right, the, the bitch and took your shit knowing you've been fucking up all year. That bitch crazy. I'm not fit to just allow a person to show me love for one fucking day. One day of love don't mean shit to me. It's 365 days in a year. If you ain't going to treat me fair all 365 days, it's a waste of time. I'm getting older and I have no time for that shit. So it is what it is. I'm about to let y'all go. I'm about to go on and go in this living room. Get up on this motherfucking PS motherfucking box and do what I do best. So that's just my rant, little updates rant. You know what I'm saying? I'll holler at y'all later. Bow! Kick, kick, kick! Pow, pow, pow! Mm hmm.